Good morning! Welcome to another vlog! Kaisa says morning too, don't you? Don't you, baby? I just got out of the shower. I actually just washed my hair because that's why I'm having this very sexy turban on. I am going to the hairdresser today. I'm gonna do another weekly vlog and I'm going to the hairdresser today. And right now, I'm just gonna have some leftovers for lunch, which we have the best leftovers. If you saw last week's vlog, you know that me, we made risotto, so this is red wine and mushroom risotto with a bunch of parmesan cheese and I am so excited to be having this as a leftover. Oh my, it's literally so good. Let me see if I can actually. <gasps> so this is what it looks like, super, super yummy. But yeah, I just pulled on my cozy clothes after getting out of the shower. I'm gonna, of course, put some actual clothes on for going to the hairdresser. I am supposed to be there in two hours, but I have some editing to do. These dogs. I also started to prepping orders that are going out today with Cinch Beauty, which is my own beauty brand. And I'm almost done. I, well, I have a bunch more that I need to do, plus I have some pre-rolled here. So those are going out today as well, because I do have a pickup on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we have a bunch going out today. So I'm at my hair salon now. Um, it's called Red Stella. That's where I get my hair done. So I am gonna go in and get it fixed now. This, it needs to be fixed. <laughs> So I'm just done with my hair. I don't know if I can show you anything. I'm like literally by the road, but it's a refresh. I'll show you a bit more when I'm home, but oh, so nice to have new hair. She's so good with my hair. Okay, so I am back with my doggos. Ricardo came home at the same time as me, actually. So we took the dogs for a little, um, a little walk, and then when we got back, the USPS guy was here, and he picked up my packages for Cinch. So all the bug, all the packages went out. We did a little bit different with my hair this time. There is like underneath here, there is like blonde. Can you see? We did like a full strip of blonde underneath. I don't know. Wait. I don't know if you can see anything, but like we put some more blonde in. You can see some is coming from in the front here. So I think it looks really cute and I want to show you a package that I got. We did a package exchange. USPS gave me some packages and I gave him some packages, but let me show you what I got. Well, I got three packages, but one of them I can't show you because it is a little bit secret. So I actually did order from Mooncat because they had some polishes that I really wanted to try. So I got their top coat and I got... I think one of these are like a multi-chrome and one of these are a magnetic one. So I hope there is a magnet here as well because it said there's going to be a magnet with this order. And if it's not, I need a magnet. Ooh! No, there is definitely a magnet with the order. That makes me very, very excited. So I'm definitely going to be at least painting my toenails and I'm hoping that I will be able to put a tip on and paint my like fingernails as well. So I'm super excited to be trying this out. And I got a color book package and I almost started crying when I opened this one because they sent me this really, really big box and it says, may the fourth be with you. And look at this, they sent me Star Wars stuff. I love Star Wars. It's like a car freshener. I think this might be a t-shirt. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. I'm so excited. Look at this one. It's like this big bag. Like, is this like, I can bring this to shots and look at this bag. It's so cute. I don't even know what's in it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's a little R2D2. I don't even know what this is, but I still love it. What is this? squeezy -boo? I don't have no idea what this is but oh my god it's so cute and I'm guessing I'm guessing this is the makeup because this is the way that Colourpop wraps their palettes 
I already have all the Star Wars makeup, but yeah, they sent me another copy of the palette. And I guess that this means that they are restocking the palette for May 4th. Uh, I'm so excited. I love this palette. I truly recommend it. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so they also had the Darth Vader palette and the C-3PO palette. Both of these are good quality. I would say this one if you like cool tones and this one if you like warm tones. And then there were a couple of brushes in here as well. I wouldn't say any of these are like eyeshadow brushes in my humble opinion, but I do like the Colourpop brushes for being like affordable brushes. And then there was a cork what is this one called? Corksicle and Star Wars Collaboration. And it's one of those that has like the, you can open and close. And it says Star Wars on the side here, but it's like the line here. It's just very Sith inspired. That is so cool. My husband loves mugs like this to have to work. So I think he would really enjoy this one. But honestly, I am just so incredibly grateful I love Star Wars and I love Colourpop and this just makes me super, super happy. Oh, it's a squishy. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my, I might need this like a stress ball for when I'm stressed. What are you hoping to find? Are you hoping to find more snacks? Every day when the postman comes to pick up my packages, because I have like pickups, he brings little snacks for the doggos, because he really likes our dogs, and I think they're hoping to find more snacks. <laughs> uh, we are gonna barbecue some mushrooms. Not Ricardo, what are you doing? That coal? Mm. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And then we're gonna do some veggies and we have some hamburger buns here because we are gonna do some uh, salmon burgers. So that's gonna be nice. And the grill is hopefully gonna be good out there. We'll see what happens. Kaisa's making sure that everything's working as planned. <laughs> okay, so the first veggies are on. We're actually doing most of the veggies for tomorrow because we're gonna do pasta with the grilled vegetables. So we're keeping them for tomorrow and we're doing the burgers mostly for today but look at how cozy this is when like the little lights are on isn't this like super cozy i mean it could be better but it could definitely be worse Legends of Korra palette and the new Pat McGrath lippy. There is still some, it's a little trash um, here behind me uh, from uh, we, what we were eating yesterday. Like, look at this. Oopsie. Uh, oh, there's even wine here. I didn't even know. And I don't know if I have any anything to eat for lunch. We did actually, I don't know if you saw that or if you understood that, when we were doing our barbecue yesterday, we were doing extra veggies. So we're gonna do pasta tonight with the grilled vegetables and that's gonna be super tasty. But with that being said, I don't think I have anything for lunch. So maybe I need to door dash something because like we all know I'm not cooking anything. That's not, that's not in the cards for me, that's so dark. Here we are, ice cream and bread. That's what I think we have. So I think I'm gonna door dash something. I'm gonna start editing the video that I just have now because I've filmed two videos and I uploaded two videos today. One on my main channel, the member tutorial, and I uploaded the vlog on my vlog channel. Finally, my second my vlog was up. Is that a spider or a fly? Ugh. So I am gonna edit two videos now in the afternoon, one for tomorrow and one for next week. <gasps> There's a lizard. <gasps> Look at it. No, it's not moving. Do you want to move? No. Oh, it's so cute. I think he is 
moving now? Are you moving? You're not moving? You're just standing there? Aww. All you're really showing my viewers is that I really, really need to clean this rug. <laughs> right? Oh, I'm so tired. I was just out with this one and the menace that's behind us as well. I was just out with them and having a little pee break and yeah, I'm gonna have some lunch. <sighs> she, actually this Sunday, when we were at the dog park, she bumped into another dog and she broke her tooth. She started bleeding and she was so confused. She doesn't seem to be in pain though. She has been eating since and she actually has been chewing on chew toys as well. But she broke off a big bit of her tooth. So of course we called the vet and the vet said that they wanted to see her to make sure if they have to pull the tooth or not. So we have a little... A little appointment with the vet just to see that she's okay she's of course not bleeding anymore and she's not like whimpering or not like she was just surprised i think that's that like that happened because she bumped into another dog you're such a tough girl but yeah we're taking her to the vet on thursday just to make sure that it's not like actually something that needs to be done and if like if it needs to be done we'll get it done anything for you see this is what insurance is for I work so that when my pets bump into each other, I can afford their tooth extractions. Yes, I know. You're very grateful. By the way, this is what my room looks like after I've been filming a haul. It's just madness. Oh, and these were the snacks that kept me alive. <laughs> During the filming, uh, I did a sponsorship with Rind s t some time ago, but honestly, I really do love their snacks. And every time I see them in store, I buy them. This is my favorite one that I can find in store. It's the Chewy Tropical one, but they have one watermelon on the website as well. And I think I will be ordering that one uh, online, but I want to order it for like pool season. So maybe I'll buy it um, when we get back from Europe because that one is so good. But this one is good too. Doggies have been eating. Husband is home. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and we're just gonna do some household chores. Okay, so the dishwasher is going, but I thought we could have a peek at my Sephora order that came. This is the last Sephora order I did in the Sephora haul. And basically I bought Oh, they sent me some samples. I bought this mascara, the Tower 28 mascara, because everyone had been going bananas over this mascara. I don't even know if I'm in focus. I feel like I'm not. And I bought the two lipsticks uh, that I wanted, the brown ones from House Labs. We're gonna look at those. And, oh, I bought the blush as well. Oh my God, seriously? Really? Sir. So I bought the commodity milk and I bought the blush from Sephora and then for one reason or another they sent the Kofi eyeshadow all alone. I don't know why, but let's look at these colors. So this is the blush in Free Spirit. It honestly looks really, really pretty and the lip colors look great. I'm sorry about the background noise. Is this going to be better in natural light? This is maple and honey. So maple is the darker one and honey is the lighter. I don't know if that helped at all. And this is the coffee shadow, the green one. But I'm excited. I'm excited about my little haul, plus the mascara and the perfume. And again, sorry about the background noise, but these were the last things that I bought during the sale. I'm excited to try them. So some of the veggies that we barbecued yesterday is becoming a pasta sauce. Hopefully. With... What's this? Basil. Basil? Oh, that we grew ourselves? Mm -hmm. Yay! It's basil from the garden! And then creme fraiche. Which is literally a dollar in Sweden, or maybe two, and here we're paying ten dollars for it. Madness. <laughs> I don't think Americans like creme fraiche the way that Europeans do. I think in Sweden it's like a staple, like you can find so many in the store and here you find like two on the like expensive shelf for like seven dollars. <laughs> so just mixing the veggies with some pasta and some basil and some creme fraiche. It tastes 
usually really delicious and is 2 million calories. <laughs> but that's okay. Good morning! I am putting my extensions in. You can see this is the color of my hair before I color it. Um, and then with time, my hair color does fade to this color. So now in the beginning, I just blend it in to make sure that it looks somewhat decent. It actually looks pretty good when it's blended in because it looks like it's even more... Um, what do you call it? In Sweden, we call it slingat, but it's like even more marble than it is. You can see all the blonde that's underneath here now. So I am just going to put this in. I'm filming one video <laughs> one video that's all the people are getting what are you seeing in my background well it's not that horrible this is the i'm gonna fill my rankings today and i put them in the basket here so these are the things that i'm ranking uh i've been doing some computer work and having some coffee i actually still have a little coffee left i think it's cold now mm. that's a little so-so but i am gonna put my hair in and then i'm just gonna put my hair up and then usually when i'm done like filming my look i'll take it down and then i'll just curl some sections to make it look pretty pretty -er. <laughs> i'm no expert with hair but i'm okay i am okay with hair i definitely wouldn't say like oh i'm so bad with hair because i'm not i'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm okay i'm okay i'm pretty okay at least it's like not that doing like hairstyles or anything like that but making my hair look nice i'm, I'm pretty okay with that you should like not be ashamed to say like oh the things that you're good at like i said i feel like sometimes we live in a society where we're not allowed to say that like we're good at things or that we like things about ourselves and it's like every time you say like oh i think i look good or i think i'm really good at this there's always someone that's like don't brag and it's like it's not bragging to be aware of like your strengths because it's the same as being aware of your weaknesses and i'm trying to be aware of both of them so that i can practice more on the things that i'm not good at or maybe even get help with the things that you're not good at and then um just being proud of the things that you are good at and maybe even helping others when you're really good at something maybe you can teach others to be better as well oh, i'm wearing my leia t-shirt today just always wear like cozy clothes around the house like i can't be bothered i know that i probably should show <laughs> a more polished version of myself online and you know not show myself like just looking i don't know like seven hard biblical years but honestly i like myself in this version too and it's the same here. Some people will try and drag you down because they're like, oh, you don't look the way you, I'm like expecting you to look or why don't you like, why did you let yourself go or anything like that? And I wish we would be less harsh on each other. Like it's okay to exist in different versions. I feel like that's the whole thing about like makeup and beauty is like, sometimes we want to look like this and sometimes we want to look like that, but it's all about being okay in your own skin as well and being okay with like how you look without makeup too and i am i am okay with how i look without makeup and i think you probably have gotten this from these vlogs because <laughs> i think like most part of these vlogs is probably me just without makeup just being at home enjoying myself although i will say that when i do put makeup on i usually don't take my makeup off until the end of the day because like i like to I mean, I'm here to review makeup, so I like to put it on for, like, the entirety of the day, basically. Did I put both on? Oh, I did not. Oh, I'm such a dum-dum. Maybe I can put that on top. But, yeah, I'm just gonna put some hair in. And I am gonna film, actually, a little reel before. I totally forgot that I did not use the Sigma mini palettes. And I found them today when I was trying to prepare what things oh wait, what things to wear um, or what things to be reviewing. And I was like, wait, I never got around to use these. So I'm actually going to be doing, I want to do a smoky look today. And I woke up and I was like, listen, I woke up and I chose smokiness. <laughs> so I'm going to do a really... I think I'm gonna try and do like a smoky look and that one of the Sigma palettes, I think I'm doing the 
what's it called beachy the one that had some blues but it also has like a duochrome almost goldy green and i think i'm gonna do black and then layer that duochrome on top this is my plan we'll see how it works out and just do something like smoky i'm, I'm feeling a smoky look today i'm feeling like that's gonna be my journey for this lovely wednesday but yeah this is what it looks when it's like marbled in uh, it's gonna look better later i promise it will <laughs> i'm like it will be better i promise hopefully <laughs> so i'm done with the filming and i opened up the patio door just so that i can get some air in and both of the dogs were just like thriving in the sun but we were actually gonna go for a little pee walk so I'm done filming. I did a smoky eye today. I wanted to have something smoky on, so I used one of the nine pan palettes from Sigma that I totally forgot to use. But it's nice. I really like Sigma. I like Sigma makeup. I'm wearing a Sigma blush as well today. I think they make really, really good stuff, so I feel bad for forgetting to use it. But in my defense, they did release around the cinch release, so it's been a lot of other things going on. The weather is lovely so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna walk the dogs i'm gonna eat some lunch and then i'm gonna head to the pool for like two hours something like that and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna be um editing one or two videos i think that was my neighbor editing two one or two videos to have next week when i'm in charleston i need to prepare a little bit more but it's too nice weather i want to take advantage <laughs> to pack some orders i have a pickup i have a pickup in a couple of hours so i'm gonna be packing some orders and then i think i'm gonna head to the pool it's like two o'clock and i definitely have time to go to the pool too so i'm just gonna get this i want to say out of the way but it's not really out of the way because like i, I enjoy doing this it's fun um but i am looking forward to reading my book and being by the pool so that's gonna be really nice too And I took a lovely shower and I have two companions with me. I'm not getting a snack, baby, so I'm so sorry. I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna grab myself a carbonated water. Because I've been really enjoying those. I'm gonna grab myself a carbonated water. I think I have a pickup in about an hour. And I was hoping... Oh, I even have a pineapple. Yes, these are so yummy. Look at this one. This is from Waterloo. So it's the pineapple one. Ugh, I love it so much. It's so delicious. Naturally flavored. And it says with other natural flavors. I work with food safety. Are you looking into my packages? Don't do that, sweetie. It's not for you. Are you curious? Oh, good boy. Only looked what was in the bag. Naturally flavored with other natural flavors doesn't necessarily mean that it's pineapple. I worked with food safety for a really long time and in EU, naturally flavored with other natural flavors usually means that they found something in nature that tastes just like pineapple. It's just cheaper than pineapple. <laughs> so they're using that instead and they don't have to tell you exactly what they're using. So naturally flavored doesn't mean that it is pineapple. It just means that it's something, yeah, same here. They don't have to tell you what flavors there are. They just have to tell you whether or not they're synthetic or natural. So natural flavors doesn't need to be better than synthetic flavors because like, you don't know where those flavors are from. You don't know what kind of bark or leaf or stone tastes like pineapple out there. So it doesn't necessarily have to be pineapple. 
the more you know. So we're trying to decide what to eat for dinner. None of us wants to cook. No. Uh, I guess we're playing. So what do we want to eat? Pancakes. Uh, but that is cooking. Then you have to do something. Isn't that the whole thing? Go buy something then? Maybe. Kids! Ki Ugh. I'll wait here. No, I don't have my driver's license. Kids? Kids? Okay, apparently we're playing. Oh my. I guess we didn't learn anything from the chipping of the tooth, did we? Few lessons were learned. None to be exact. <laughs> did you really sneeze her in the face? Happy Star Wars Day. Happy May. May 4th. I ordered a Pokeball. I'm gonna... Not for you. I ordered a Pokeball. I'm gonna have some lunch while I'm editing. Oh, happy, happy Thursday. I have filmed my new makeup releases. Look at this yumminess. I have filmed my new makeup releases. He really do be thinking this is for him. I have been filming my new makeup releases and I have been editing my new makeup releases. But like I told you, we are heading to the vet today with Kaisa. We have a time at 2.30. And I'm normally never done with my work day at 2.30. And I'm normally never done with my new makeup releases at 2.30. But I have to be today because I usually get help from... Sweetie, it's not for you. Tesla, Tesla, back a little, back a little. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. But my assistant is helping me with my description box on Friday because <sighs> honestly, oh my God, look at this, look at this mess here. But honestly, I, I don't have time for everything. I just don't. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to get some help with stuff. Um, so I need to send it off to her before we leave because I can't send it up after we leave because that would end up me asking her to work during the evening. And that's just mean. I'm not that person. So what I have left to do today is that I need to fix this and upload it, but I'm going to be done within 10 minutes and I need to answer a couple of little bit, a little bit more tricky mails. And I also have a video that I started editing yesterday, but I need to finish editing that one uh, because it's for next week. And I would love to do the b-roll that I'm doing for tomorrow's video because I'm gonna feel so much better <laughs> if I wake up tomorrow and realize that that is done because tomorrow I have a Botox appointment I haven't done Botox for four months so I'm gonna do that tomorrow I'll, I'll bring you along so this is what I'm seeing right now I'm having this super yummy poke bowl and I am editing look at this look at this madness editing this video and I am watching a uh, paging Mr. Morrow. He is a Disney vlogger and I am preparing for secret secret a future Disney trip. So we're in the car. I don't know if you can see the doggos in the back. Here's Ricardo. <laughs> so we're heading to the vet and hopefully, fingers crossed, Kaisa won't have to get her tooth extracted. But we'll see what happens. But I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it won't come to that. And of course I'm wearing my Star Wars t-shirt yet, you know, it's the 4th, 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> I've been home working for a couple of hours, um, trying to get stuff done before I leave for Charleston next week. Unfortunately, she does have to pull the tooth. Um, they've already sent us an estimate of how much it's going to cost us, and we have booked her for... Well, it was in May, so in a couple of weeks, so... I'm, I'm sad that she has to have that extraction because like it does go as a surgery but at the same time like the vet said that even though she's not in pain now and she's not inflamed now and she's eating and functioning as normal eventually since the pulp is exposed because she did chip off quite a big bit a bit it will be infected so she was like oh you can wait i'm like no i don't want her to to have to go through that discomfort so 
we just booked it hopefully insurance will cover it and if not this is why we work <laughs> so that if something happens we can afford to pay it but i feel bad for her i really do but in sweden we say nothing bad that doesn't have any good with it and at least she's not in pain now and it's not infected right now so at least she'll get it removed before it becomes like an actual big problem but i feel bad for my little baby i'll keep you posted of course of what's going on and let you know how it's going but i did get two packages today let me show you what i got um that i have bought and i'm excited i am gonna bring them to charleston well at least some of it and i also got one thing that i'm gonna be using in the video that i'm filming tomorrow which is gonna be the last video that i film probably <laughs> before i get back from charleston so it's like the last one for a little bit okay so i got an order from sarah and i just opened it to make sure that i got <laughs> look at this leo print that i got the right things so i bought this is a shirt and it is matching pants so it's like a matching set and i also bought this one and i think i'm gonna be bringing both of these to charleston this one is a whoo, it's like a skirt in this mustard print and i think that this will be perfect for daytime for like lunchtime or anything like that i think i bought all of these in a small seems about right but this time for like daytime i think it's going to be perfect of course i'm going to show you all of this in my vlog from charleston and i also bought these these are the ones i'm going to be using tomorrow's video i'm going to do a perfume haul and i got these little paper strips so that i can actually spray the perfume and i've saved so much b-roll on like the notes and everything so i hope i'm going to make a really informative and good video that's what i'm hoping and i bought the second book in the in the throne of glass series from sarah j moss so i'm read the first one in swedish and i'm reading the second one in english so i hope that's not going to cause a problem i'm probably going to bring this on my trip as well i am reading a book right now but i'm i usually read a lot when i'm traveling so I'm, i'll probably bring this one too oh and i also bought tampons i wish i didn't have to get these the super plus but they only had the super mini or the super plus but these are my favorite the ob ones they're just the best i don't like the ones that have the plastic ones and i also don't like the ones that these just hold together i don't know why are we talking about tampons but i mean menstruation is natural these are my favorites so i got those as well we're back in the car we're getting hamburgers someone's hungry <laughs> I started watching Queen Charlotte on Netflix and um, well, I've only watched like one and a half episodes so far It was so nice to watch on Bridgerton again. Are you excited? <laughs> you didn't watch it with me <laughs> So far I really enjoy it. I think it's gonna be a good series. I'm sad. It's only six episodes. That's a shame But I still enjoy it um, It's nice to be watching some Netflix and not working. That's for sure, but yeah that's fine. What is the time? Is it 8? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's only 8. We're doing fine. wearing this new i'm gonna i'm gonna try it on i'll try all the things on after this i'm just gonna pack some orders i have some things i need to pack um because i have a pickup later today and look i'm wearing this new one together <laughs> with my sweatpants but i'll show you with the new pants later i'm also wearing this like purple look today i just filmed a perfume haul and i've been like accidentally spraying myself with a bunch of perfumes i smell lovely look at this one hi babe superman dog <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna pack some orders and i need to walk the dogs and i'm gonna show you the clothes that i bought from sarah i only bought three things so it's gonna be really quick but 
I'm in a really good mood. I'm heading to get my Botox later today. Uh, it's due, like I said, it's been like four months since, so I'm getting that done today as well. But I'm almost done working and I'm very excited. I'm gonna see after lunch if I'm able to do some B-roll for a video that I'm filming after I get back from Charleston. Because I love being prepared. And I mean, future Angie is gonna love past Angie if I film the B-roll today. <laughs> I thought I'd show you what the set looks like. There, I know this mirror sometimes is a little dark, but this is the leopard set. I'm wearing it with heels here. I just think, oh, it's so dark. This is just the optimal. I do not care. I do whatever I want. It's like slouchy, thin. Like It's like dress pants with this like shirt. And I just, I love this set. I think it's so cool and so like... I do whatever I want. I do whatever I want, I wear whatever I want, and I am in love. I'm in love with the set, and I realize that it takes a certain... It takes a little bit of a I do not care kind of a personality to wear something like this, but truly, I'm wearing these heels with it. Truly, if there's anything I have, it is a I do not care what you think kind of an attitude. <laughs> I'm just wearing the t-shirt that I am wearing right now with this little score thing, but I love how this is looking. And it's like shorts in the back, and it's like this super cool little like score thing in the front, and I love the pattern. And I just think this is so cool. Maybe not with this t-shirt, but overall, I really like the look of this, and I love the feel of it. It's super, super comfy. So yeah, I cannot wait to wear this as well. Maybe not, I mean, I'm gonna wear this with sandals and probably like a tucked in t-shirt. Not this t-shirt. <laughs> Another t-shirt, but I love it and I'm definitely bringing it to Charleston. This is gonna be a perfect going to lunch or maybe just if we wanna go out and grab a coffee or something because they're definitely, I mean, this is a trip made by influencers for influencers so we were like no brands get to decide any stupid activities or just like stuff like that this is our trip we get to do what we want to do so all the activities are optional <laughs> if you don't want to do it you don't want to do it i'm still going to do it though because i think it's fun but also we're like we're in our late 30s no bar hopping no clubbing no drinking a lot of alcohol we just want to have nice dinners and talk to each other so I feel like this could be a good, maybe a little sightseeing kind of a thing. I've never been to South Carolina. What do you think? I love the color. I mean, we all know I love yellow. So I have just had my little Botox touch up. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the the pics, the pickety pics. I asked her because I did um, some fillers last in like here uh, last summer. Apparently it was in July and I asked her like, because I think I, it still looks good. I can still see it. And she told me, she's like, yeah, you definitely don't need a fill up. I just told Ricardo that I think that that's like a sign of a good place. That's more interested in like a good result than trying to sell you something that you don't need. So I felt really good about that. She's like, yeah, we don't need to do it now. We don't need to book it for next time, which means that I will be able to go one and a half year. So I think it's pretty good. Oh, my battery is almost dying. I need to fix that when I'm coming home. But we're going back. The weather is really lovely. It was supposed to be raining Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Have not seen any rain so far. <laughs> I don't know what the weathermen are drinking over there. I'm having two sandwiches. Well, in Sweden, we will call that sandwiches. I think it's toast. And I'm going to watch the Bridgerton, the Queen Charlotte. And he heard, he heard snack and he was like, say less. <laughs> so I am currently at the place where I usually do my nails. And as you've probably seen from before, I have a broken nail. So I asked them like, is this possible to put a tip on it? Because I've been waiting for a month for it to grow out. And he was like, yeah, it's grown out enough. You definitely can put a tip on this. So I'm gonna do my nails, but I have this nail polish at home that I wanna use. So I'm gonna get tips and I'm gonna paint my nails at home. So. It's Saturday, it's actually lunch. I have been, I've been working all morning. 
people trying to be in the way. I've been working all morning getting the videos done for next week when I'm gone in Charleston. So I have four videos uploaded and scheduled. So now I don't have to worry about YouTube at all next week, which I'm really happy about. All I need to do today is that I have a couple of mails that I need to do and I need to start packing. But I'm gonna get myself a Starbucks and then I'm gonna do my nails. made sense because apparently my memory card was full but hopefully it didn't cut me off I am done with my nails I didn't get any anything on them because I bought one of those magnetic magnetic nail polish, polishes that I want to try myself but now I'm going into HB to get some more coffee because I'm out we're having a little salad lunch and I'm just gonna try and paint one of my nails with these nail polishes that I got from Mooncat because one of them is one of these like kind of magnetic ones. I just want to see if I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I can tell you that already. I just, I need to try on one nail before I commit. Okay, so yesterday I ended up, I painted my nails. I did this kind of a, I don't know if you can see. It's like one of those magnetic polishes. I did it myself. Very proud of myself. And I ended up playing Fortnite <laughs> with Ellie Dawson, uh, Paige Corin, and Corey, Ellie's husband. Um, I've never played that before, but it was really fun. And today I've just been working and packing. Let me show you. So I started packing here because I am leaving for Charleston tomorrow early morning. And I put up a lot of things here just on the bed that I want to bring and I brought out some dust bags as well because like this one needs to go in a dust bag these need to go in dust bags well this is Veneta Bottega Veneta dust bag but it's gonna have to do for this one like I just need to put these things in dust bags and I need to pack them and I think I will end the vlog here because I kind of want to edit this vlog today so that I can have it up while I'm in Charleston um so yeah I don't know how long this vlog is. I don't know anything. This week has been a blur. It's been a lot of things going on. But my next vlog will be me in Charleston. I'm going to be just showing you everything that I'm seeing. I'm super excited to be meeting my friends and just be hanging out and just networking and doing a lot of fun stuff. And I will, of course, show you all of it. I also will be doing a what I'm wearing in Charleston. You can see already here some of the things that I'm packing. But... I like doing those um, I like filming those so I will do something like that as well but I hope you're having an amazing day don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next vlog which is gonna be in short <laughs>